well, let's say when it does come to the, the need for a total knee replacement, um, I mean, what's what again? What's your in terms of trying to aim for that goal of making a knee feel as as you know, normal as, as as it can be? Um, you, you touched on there before about you know preserving the ligaments, the cruciate ligaments. Is it is it possible to do that with a with a total knee or? To the, to be fair, you know. Total knee replacements are generally considered, you know, what we call PCL, you know, sparing or PCL sacrificing. Right. Um, generally, by and large, all total knee replacements sacrifice the ACL. Right. There are one or two knee replacements on the market now that don't sacrifice the ACL. Okay. So just the issue is by that. So the, in, inside the knee, there's there's the two there's two ligaments called the cruciate ligaments, which sort of wrap around each other. There's the anterior and there's the posterior. And what, what George is saying there is that most traditionally, most knee replacements, you would have to remove the anterior cruciate ligament. But, you know, the aim is to keep the, the posterior cruciate. But now he's saying there are ones in the market where we can potentially keep keep both of those cruciate ligaments. Both of them, yeah. It's technically a more challenging knee replacement. So you're effectively preserving that bone block in, in the middle of the knee. Yeah. The issue is, is that, look, again, you know, we, we very simplistically say arthritis, uh, you know, disease of, of the bone, actually, it affects, you know, we know the capsule, it affects the ligaments. And therefore, if the ligaments aren't actually normal, yeah. you could be doing the patient an injustice by preserving ligaments, which aren't functioning like they should do. Or you have incompetent ligaments, you know, you will see where MRI scans show an M a ACL is intact, but actually clinically that patient's unstable, you know, because yeah. possibly other things are going on as well. But anyway, I mean, I think for me, the decision really comes down to, you know, by and large, you know, the, the, the sort of top orthopedic companies have got good data, you know, uh, on, on most, you know, most of the, you know, current modern knee replacements. Um, and I think it's a little bit down to, you know, training, it's down to what you feel personally, for, for me, it's, you know, I try and preserve the PCL uh, as long as the knee is, hasn't got too much fixed flexion. Um, the ACL is generally sacrificed in, in a total knee replacement. And I prefer, you know, a knee replacement, which, you know, for me, you're, you know, by and large, you have a number of sizes available. Um, and therefore you're cutting and shaping the bone to fit the prosthesis. Now, again, we have very good prosthesis where they have, you know, a myriad of sizes, you know, even down to sort of millimeters in terms of how they increment. And, and for the vast majority of patients, you know, that will be, you know, good enough. Where patients are particularly, you know, high demand, where it's, you know, really crucial to restore anatomy, or there may be some sort of abnormal anatomy, which you see in, in, in different, you know, different morphologies of patients, then actually that's where custom replacements um, can be, you know, even more beneficial because you're effectively building the prosthesis to the size of the knee as opposed to shaping the knee to fit the prosthesis. So what you mentioned just there, the custom prosthesis, is, is that, uh, would that include things like conformists, which people may have heard of? Um, yeah, the two that we use are, are, are conformists, um, which were probably the, you know, the original ones come out, and then more recently Symbios. Um, I do a lot of the Symbios custom hip replacements. They've come up with their, their own custom knee. And both, you know, have potential advantages, disadvantages, I think. You know, the, but the key factor is, is that they're, they're, you know, the prosthesis, you know, you do CT or, you know, 3D planning effectively yeah. and the prosthesis is built, built for that patient. 